it's time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. It is your Ryan Report where, of course, you can see it on v-103.com. And check out Chang and Nard tonight and all weekend long at the all-new Uptown Comedy Corner. The first 10 people to call him at 404-881-0200 will win a table for four. Uh, Nick Cannon has given a lot of health scares the past couple of months. And now, after the kidney condition, blood clots, he has review- revealed that he has a lupus-like autoimmune disease. Oh, my God. Well, didn't he have, like, heart problem, too? Like an enlarged right. heart or a valve right. problem? Oh, my goodness. So, uh, Nick tells uh, Global Grind that the blood clot thing was probably the scariest because I've known people who have passed away from that. I thought I was getting better, and then that happened. So, that kind of came out of nowhere, saying he's just focusing on getting his health back right where it's supposed to be he says uh they kind of say my autoimmune disease is like a lupus type of thing but no one else in my family has it he says i feel blessed to be alive if it wasn't discovered i don't know what would have happened he needs it well i know he just they just had the baby so it's like you can't just go somewhere but he just needs to go to an island and, and detox wow. and relax and man that's a lot poor guy yeah, he's so young for all that uh <laughs> you know yeah. Uh, Naptown's all Mike Epps, but we claim in Atlanta, uh, was on a talk show recently and, you know, shouted out his family, but didn't shout out the rest of his family. When he was on the Wendy Williams show, uh, one of his offspring, Bria, was very upset. She called Mike to express her feelings, and then uh, she said, I'm going to air some family drama. And then Mike said, according to her, the threat, you know what, girl? I'm going to F you up and cause her and her mom and grandmother problems. So she filed a report. But they say the tension started before the show because she keeps asking for lump sums of cash to pay for her college tuition. Okay. Saying he wanted to pay the school directly. And that's what it's really all about. It always comes down to that. Yeah. How much is school? $70,000 cash. You go to Brown Court reporting. It's still seventy thousand. It's a uh, recession. <laughs> uh, Keisha Knight Pulliam, who no showed us, makes twenty thousand a dollar or twenty thousand dollars an episode to be on House of Pain. But the people who said they got the deal hooked up say she dumped them after they put the deal together. Green and Associates Talent Agency say they signed her back in two thousand seven and then got her lead role like that. But as soon as she got the money, she said, deuces. Because according to the suit, uh, she fired them back in July. There's one big problem. They said that she never forked over a single cent in commission from the whole Tyler, I mean, uh, House of Pain deal. And now they want their money. And deservedly so, probably. It's in it's in writing. Good luck fighting that. They're saying they want 100 k in back payments plus another $250,000 for a commission that she may earn on future stuff. Don't go back on the contract, man. You can't do that. We all know that. Yeah, you do know <laughs> that. You know that. that. You signed that paper. That's right. It, yeah, I just signed my rights away. <laughs> uh, Janet Jackson's not going to be an X Factor. Oh, no? It's official. She turned it down. Oh. Uh, she said she was very flattered uh, that she was being considered, but it just wasn't possible. And, of course... One of Janice's other relatives said, he's available. <laughs> I wonder who that would be. X, baby! A ready! X! Three strikes you out! X! Call CeeLo! Oh, wrong show! Hey! Michael! X! X all the other relatives that send me some money! <laughs> That's the right <laughs> report. Right here on V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know. The Riot Report.